Here is this week's Getting Started interview. We shot this one last summer. This one is Kim McCann at Connor Prairie, and she is going to give us the Mrs. Barker treatment. One of my favorites. <laughs> so yeah. here you go. I was down to the Whitaker store the other day, and Miss Whitaker asked, did I need to order school books for Meg? And I told her for the same time I told her last time, must be seven by now, Meg ain't going to school. Ain't no sense in, in my husband spending his pennies on a girl being schooled. I ain't never been schooled. Don't read nor write. I know my numbers, one to 20. I, I reckon if there's something more than 20 of, I'll just start counting again. Ain't no sense for a woman to be schooled. Uh, she's got a smaller head than a man. And uh, some, some doctors, some, some brain doctors, they, they measured men's heads, found them larger. Well, that means a man's got a larger brain, got, got capacity for more things. Now, a woman's got to have uh, knowledge of cooking and cleaning and washing, sewing. And you got to think of it like a bucket. Uh, that bucket gets filled up to the top, and you put uh, more things in it. Why, what happens to that bucket? Why, it just overflows, and you lose what was in it. So if you go and start putting in a woman's head, reading and, and writing and ciphering and, and all fancy things like that, why she's going to lose one of them other things. And now I ask any gentleman, you can ask my own husband or my son or my brother-in-law or any other man, what kind of wife would he rather have? Uh, uh, come home to a woman going to uh, say him a poem or a woman going to fix him dinner? <laughs> My name is Kim McCann and I'm the Assistant Manager of Interpretation here at Counter Prairie. Um, I've been here for four seasons and uh, in my long storied career of different jobs this is the best one I've ever had. The thing that I love about Counter Prairie is that it allows me as an historic interpreter to bring to people um, on a one-on-one -on -one basis some of the ideas and views that we've sort of forgotten the progress we've made. As a woman, um, I like to uh, portray Lucinda Barker, who is illiterate and is happy being illiterate, um, doesn't intend to school her, her daughters. Um, and when you talk to people about that idea of what a woman's place is and a woman being satisfied and happy with that, it is startling. Um, it's the best with little girls because what they do is come at you with a hundred different reasons why school is so important and it really engages them in a way that I don't think they're engaged often with history. When you see a mother and a daughter walk away after a conversation about that and you hear the daughter say to the mother, is that really true? Is that really the way things used to be? And one time the mother looked at the daughter and she said, you know, it was true, and there are still places in the world today where that's true. And the little girl said, that's not right. And that conversation couldn't have happened without the conversation they had here at Connor Prairie. And that's one of the amazing things. You think about the past as being something we're done with, but we still struggle with it, we still deal with it. And that's one of the things that I love about Connor Prairie is that it gives me an opportunity as an educator, as a history lover, as an interpreter, to bring that to people and bring it into their lives. And they get to take that with them.